Rock Transformations Unit, Lesson 1.4, Modeling How Rocks Are Formed. Activity 2, Modeling How Sediment Forms Rock. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. In the last lesson, you used the sim to investigate rock formation. How did you form new rocks in the sim? You might respond, I pressed melt to form new rock. This created a volcano at the surface. I pressed weather to form new rock. Rock pieces then moved into and were buried in the ocean. Today we'll use pieces of hard candy to model how rock sediment forms rock. This model will help us observe the process of rock formation over a short period of time. Remember that sedimentary rock is made of small pieces of rock. How does the crushed candy compare to the sediment? What do you think the crushed candy represents in the model? You might respond, they are both made of small pieces. The candy is more colorful. It represents sediment. How would you describe the crushed candy? How could you turn the pieces of candy, or sediment, into solid rock? You might respond, the crushed candy is made of small pieces and consists of different colors. Some pieces are really small like sand. I could compact the pieces together to form rock. You'll work in pairs and use these materials to model how sediment is compacted in order to form sedimentary rock. Using candy to model rock formation. Step 1. Observe the crushed candy, or model of sediment. Step 2. Insert an empty plastic cup inside the cup that already contains the candy. Step 3. Press down on the stacked cups to compact the candy. Students, model the process of forming sedimentary rock. Answer the questions on your screen. Lift the inner cup and observe the candy pieces. Do you notice any changes? The candy may need more time to form into new rock. We will continue to compress the candy pieces over a few days. I will collect the cups and put them under a heavy book for a while. Write your names on your cups. We will use these models in a later lesson, 2.3. How are we modeling the formation of new rock from sediment? You might respond, the hard candy pieces represent sediment. Pressing on the candy pieces causes them to stick together and form new rock. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Vocabulary. Sedimentary rock. The rock type form when sediment is pressed and glued together. Sedimentary rock forms when sediment is pressed down and glued together. In nature, this process can take thousands or millions of years. Your pieces of hard candy represent sediment that is being pressed down. When we return to your model in Chapter 2, what do you expect to observe? You might respond, the pieces will be stuck together, representing sedimentary rock. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Let's look at some images that show how loose sediment, like sand on a beach, can transform into sedimentary rock over time through compaction and cementation. These zoomed-in views showed buried sediment changing over thousands of years. When sediment turns into rock, it is through two processes. The first process is called compaction, which is the process of sediment being buried and pressed together. The sediment is buried underground. The material on top applies a lot of pressure, causing the sediment to compact. The second process is called cementation which is the process of sediment being glued together. Minerals that are deposited by water between the sediment act as a glue that binds the sediment together. Vocabulary. Compaction. The process of sediment being buried and pressed together. Vocabulary. Cementation. The process of sediment being glued together. In our model, we took loose sediment and began compacting it by putting it under pressure over time. Our model includes the process of compaction. Our model doesn't show how minerals cemented the sediment together. What could we do to add the process of cementation to our model? You may suggest mixing in glue or adding water. Next, we'll think about how rock can be formed by magma. How could we use hard candy to model magma forming rock? You might respond, melted candy would represent magma and, when it cools, it would form new rock. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work and Amplify for this activity before moving on.